Today in the Daily Dose, Adoptive Cell Transfer Therapy. A new and promising technique in the fight against cancer is Adoptive Cell Transfer Therapy, or ACT, which is a class of immunotherapy whereby supplemental T cells are transferred into a patient with cancer intended to target and bolster their immune system to fight their own form of cancer. Similar to CAR T-cell therapy, adoptive T-cells are genetically programmed and multiplied in a lab with antigens specifically targeted to a patient's individual tumor type, creating an army of attack T-cells that have been customized or tailored for an individual patient's fight against the disease. As a cancer grows, it quickly overwhelms an immune system's ability to locate and kill cancer cells, which generally occurs by the time a cancer can be clinically detected. As scientists harness this new powerful treatment option, ACT is presently performed in two ways. The first is to take a sample of the patient's tumor and isolate those T cells that recognize the tumor as a foreign invading threat known as tumor infiltrating lymphocytes, or TILs. By removing TILs from the body and multiplying them by a factor of a thousand or so, these new cellular assassins are reinfused into the patient's body, which in turn provides a logarithmic boost to a patient's ability to fight off cancer cells or cancerous tumors. A second approach is to harvest T cells from a patient's blood before genetically modifying a given patient's T cells to recognize a given type of tumor, before multiplying and re-injecting the T cells back into the patient's body. While building a custom gene therapy remains labor-intensive and expensive, the proof of principle has been clearly vetted at this point, although much more work is required to improve efficacy and delivery pathways. And while costs may seem prohibitive at this early stage of discovery, conventional chemotherapy remains exceedingly expensive as well, while remissions achieved by this later method almost never remain permanent, generally returning in one form or another within five years after clinical remission. On the flip side, of the 80 to 90 percent of patients who respond to ACT, patients remain disease-free after 15 years of study, making adoptive cell transfer therapy one of the greatest anti-cancer victories in clinical medicine today. And there you have it, adoptive cell transfer therapy, today on The Daily Dose. If you like learning something new every day, subscribe to The Daily Dose on YouTube or sign up for emails at dailydosenow.com.